Welcome to the foundation video. We're going to have a look at a few examples of doing the pull up. We're going to try and talk about why we're trying to do it. What's the point behind it? What are we trying to accomplish? We're going to go through step by step the ideas behind the pull up, the things that you want to make sure that you are doing. And I'm also going to have a few cues at the end of little mental checks that you want to try to do when you are doing the pull up. Okay, so as an example, here is the pull up for a body weight bar hang pull up. So what are we trying to do? We're trying to increase our body strength with our arms in the pulling action. So when we pull, we're going to be engaging certain muscle groups. And what we're trying to do with this training is increase the strength of those muscle groups. Now, not everybody can use the bar and use their entire body weight to pull up. So we're going to look at a lot of different variations so everybody can do this exercise, but increase the strength of their pulling chain on their arms. Okay, so let's have a look at the steps behind the pull up. Now this is going to be applicable to all the steps and all the stages that you're going to see in this series. And I really want you to try to focus on making sure that these, these things are mentally ticked off and you do all of them. Okay, so number one is when you are on the bar, at the bottom position, you want to be in what's called a dead hang. So when you're on the bar, the muscles are not engaged. Okay, so this is an engaged bottom position. Okay, you want to be in a dead hang position. Now the reason for this is in parkour, we are trying to be as functional as we can. And when we are doing other movements or we're trying to land on something, you are not automatically going to be in that engaged muscle position, okay? You're going to be in that position where you're just hanging on and you're absolutely at the bottom of the hang. You're in a dead hang position where the muscles are not engaged. So we want to make sure that when we do our pull-ups, we are going through that absolute bottom position for the pull-up. Okay, so the second thing is with your hands, the hand position. With this series, we are going to be looking at the hands being this way. Okay, so essentially, if you put your hands in this direction, so pointing up, and if you're doing this, this is what we call a supinated grip. And essentially, you cannot hold walls or other things like this most of the time. This and how we hold the bar is called a pronated grip. And this is the position that you want to be practicing and training when you do a pull up. This is going to translate over to a lot of other techniques like climbing and vaulting. So getting used to having our hands in this position is going to be essential. Next up is we're going to be looking at the arms and I keep banging on about full range of motion. And this is something that you really want to keep in mind when you are doing any movement or any functional type of moving. So full range of motion means that you want to be able to do the absolute full range that your body can do. So if you're doing pull-ups from here and doing this, this is not the full range that you can do pull up. So we're going to have a look at what is a full range of motion pull up. Now, essentially most uh, pull ups are done from the bottom and they come up to the neck there. Okay. And down. However, one of the issues with this is that this is not where the pull finishes. Generally, I can keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling until my arm is parallel with the ground. This is where it now changes into a pushing action. So actually, when you do a pull up, what we're trying to aim to do is get into this position. So the bar is here. So when you're down, you want to try to get much, much higher into the pull. Next up is going to be where are you looking? So if we were to look up at the bar, so you are constantly looking up, Essentially, what happens if I come side on, if you're looking up, it gives you this weird spine 
position, okay? And we want to try to get rid of that. This spinal bend at the top of the neck is actually going to put us into a horrible position. So what you want to do is try to keep looking forwards. This is going to put the neck and the back and the spine in a neutral position, the, the place where it should be, okay? So when you're doing the pull-up, try to look forwards, not up. Okay, so here are a few bits and pieces that we want to think about in terms of cues. So when you are trying to do the pull-up, we've talked about full range of motion and trying to get from the absolute bottom to the absolute top. However, let's have a look at what's going to happen with our body as we do that. Now, generally, when you are pulling, you want to try to get into a what we call a dish shape. So the body is kind of arched forwards a little bit. What you don't want is this backwards bend position, okay, which is what we call a banana position, okay? So we're trying to get into this, not that, okay? So our body position has to be arching forwards. Now, to do that arch forwards, we need to engage some other muscles. Primarily, you are going to look at your obliques. So this muscle right here. So your abs and your obliques are going to control your torso, the bottom part of your torso, and it's going to help curve the bottom part of your body forwards. If you don't engage this, what's going to happen is you're going to bend back and you're going to start crushing your vertebrae at the back of your spine. So let's engage that. So when we do the pull up, actually, we are bent forwards and down. Okay, so what we're not trying to do is back, and when we come up, we're doing this and down. Okay, you don't want to do that. We want to be arched forwards, not back. So finally, the last thing I want to talk about is grip on the bar. So again, when you have your hands on the bar like this, you don't want to be holding in this direction. You want to be holding in this direction. When you have got your hands on here, what you want to do is crush this bar as hard as you can. So you're squeezing as much as you possibly can, even if it's on a, a pull-up bar that is smaller in diameter, you really, really want to crush it. Now, the reason for that is when you are crushing that bar and you're squeezing as tight and as hard as you can, your body is basically telling the muscles that are not being used that it needs to be used. So your hands, will, as they start getting tired, will start to recruit more muscles further down the chain. So the hands, if you squeeze hard, you can, you, you, you can do an example of this by squeezing hard with your hand and just keep squeezing. What will happen is the, that the hand will get tired and your forearm will get involved. Once that starts getting tired, it will then go further up the arm and essentially it will start incorporating the entire pulling chain. And this is what you want to do when you're doing the pull up. So when you're on the bar, try not to just have this loose grip. You really want to squeeze as hard as you can when you do that pull. So that's the end of the foundation episode. We've gone through all the little bits and pieces that you want to be thinking about when you are doing a pull up on the bar. Now we're going to have a look at all the different variations that we can do for absolutely anybody. So if you are an absolute beginner, don't worry, there's going to be stuff that we're going to get to next. Then there's going to be some intermediate and then advanced. And then finally, we're going to be looking at coaches and how to coach this stuff. So let's get straight into the beginner ones and have a look at how we can use these bands to enable us to do an upper body pull.